Good afternoon and thank you for coming. Today I'm going to talk about lighting efficiency, understanding LED efficiency. Currently it's delivered to everybody as a figure lumens per watt. But what does efficiency mean? Efficiency is a term we use to understand what we use to create something we want. In this case we use electricity to create light. But how efficient, how efficiently do we use that electricity to create the light we want? Here we have a picture of the sun. Beautiful sunny day. It's been a sunny day outside. So how efficient is the sun? Well, we actually expend no energy ourselves. We don't dig it out the ground, fossil fuels to fuel the sun. It's something that delivers light to us every day. So for us, as a measurement, it's really the most efficient light source we have. So is more light better? Another feature, feature we have within the industry is lumens for more light, more light, more light. The higher the no amount of light, the better. But is more light good? So too much light and you're going to go, ah, oh, it's too bright. Going to squint, shut your eyes. And then what we have is just wasted energy. So to understand this efficiency, we need to define it. We need to understand the terms we're using. We have lumens per watt. Efficiency, converting one thing to another. We're converting electricity to light. Electricity in power. Watts of electricity can come from wind power, come from new renewable sources can also come from fossil fuels. Very pertinent today, there's lots of questions about climate change, heating the planet, burning all those fossil fuels to create this energy so we can change it into light. But what is light? Light is defined as an energy that causes a visual sensation to humans. It comes in quantifiable terms of lumens, candela and lux. These are three terms we use in lighting. Lumens is the amount of light coming out of something. It's a measurable term. A candela is the SI unit for lighting. And that measures light in a specific direction or intensity, how bright something is. And lux is a measurement of light on a surface. All our standards for lighting areas, lighting offices are based on lux. So our objective in creating light is to deliver light to a surface to achieve those standards in many cases. So we can see the surface with surfaces we're lighting. So with lumens per watt, we are converting one form of energy to another energy that creates a visual sensation. For efficiency we want to ask ourselves how much energy we're happy to waste to get what we want. So efficiency, that term is a comparative tool, it's not an absolute measure. You need to compare against products. So we have many forms of radiant energy around us. We have sound, we have radio waves. You can see here all the different wavelengths create different colours in the eye. And we transfer those colours using the V lambda curve. This is a historic curve created to measure the sensitivity of the eye to the different wavelengths. If we superimpose the colours on there, you'll see that our eye is most sensitive to the 
green yellow colours. This was a great feature in road lighting of the past. Why were our roads orange? Because the low pressure sodium wavelength, that yellow light, was what our eye was really sensitive to. So we could actually claim an awful lot of light for little energy input. We also have all these different lamp types. We've, got, we've had halogen, historic legacy products. Halogen, fluorescent, HID, and now LED. These different light sources deliver those colors, that radiant energy in different levels. Halogen tends to be a ramp from blue right up to red. We know halogen sources are hot. They used to heat the houses as well as light them. Fluorescence, you can see the fluorescent here. It's quite a spiky distribution. LEDs have a small LED chip that creates blue light. And that blue light engine hits a phosphor coating that creates the other wavelengths. So you see many LEDs have these big blue spikes. So from these sources there's a maximum efficiency you can achieve because of the radiant energy they've put out. So we're fixed with maximum efficiencies. But all this effort into the source, making it as efficient as possible, is our use efficient? So we're going to look at source efficiency, the LED. So how efficient is that, is that source? We put the source into a luminaire. That delivers the light to our space. How efficient is that? But more importantly, and what we can look at more is how efficient is the application, how we use it. So looking at source efficiency, the source is the little LED inside a yellow bath of phosphor. You see them just at the if we look at a typical lamp, you can see the board of LEDs. Here they're, they're normally little square yellow sections. The actual LED chip is inside that, underneath this phosphor coating. <clears throat> but to create that and drive that light, you also have the electronics those electronics will use the energy, there'll be losses in there. So as a system, you have that waste energy coming out as heat, as well as light. But putting this source in the luminaire, so we can have very efficient sources, but do we have efficient luminaires delivering that light, taking that light from the source? and delivering it into the space. You have in this arena luminaires on the ceiling. There's multiple LEDs inside there and it's delivering light to the floor. So a lamp measurement of luminaires throws light everywhere. Sometimes they're directional, normally they're non-directional, put it all into a, into a space. We have to capture that light and direct it out as a luminaire. Luminaires are designed to deliver light into a space, but a luminaire is less efficient than that. It's, but it's m more efficient in delivering light where you want it. It will push the light down into the space, whereas a lamp would just put it everywhere. So our legacy products were tended to be sold on wattage. 
rather than light output. Now the markets are working with lights. We understand lumens is a light measurement. So we're working with amounts of light. But many LED products still reference the source efficiency. Because of that legacy process of describing products is still there in the market. People will declare the lumens per watt of the source because it's better than the luminaire. So when you're pushed in the market presence, you will say it's a reasonable thing to say. You say my source is 100 lumens per watt, but when I put it in the luminaire, it's only 60 lumens per watt. I'm going to tell you this gives 100 lumens per watt. So it's true, but not what you're actually getting. You're getting that 60 lumens per watt from the luminaire. <clears throat> so we tie it into uh, construction. There's uh, The enhanced capital allowance targets from the Carbon Trust push lumens per watt. But they actually define that it should be luminaire lumens per total circuit watt. So it's started to be more specific in their terms. So, but they still don't go on to say on an application based. So you have these targets for luminaires, you have also this uh, government initiative to energy savings opportunity scheme where many companies had to register and then they have to provide evidence to say they are achieving certain energy savings. Lighting being one of them so this target is really on how much energy you save. So you have a total energy bill, you've got lighting in the building already. If you change the lighting to LED, you'll reduce that energy consumption. So that's a good policy to have, but with application efficiency, you can actually do more and continue and continually improve that energy efficiency. Just for an example, I took a basic warehouse as a target. So uh, looking for 100 lux. And for a simple calculation, I used 20, 20 products at 100 watt. But then having a closer look at the scheme I could use 16 products with a mixture of wattages. So instead of just, we tend to, especially in lighting, the, the design and the application, we're looking for an easy, easy life. Just changing to LED is easy. You'll save energy. But is it the most energy you can save? By looking at the scheme again, a nice uniform layout. We can mix up the wattages, mix up the bean angles. You can actually save more energy. So just to tie this together. So we have a product term lumens per watt. It gives us an indication of the efficiency of that product. What we have to ask ourselves, are we being told a figure relating to that actual product? Is it luminaire lumens per circuit watt? But then when, when we come to use it, it's our responsibility to use it efficiently. Just relying on that product to deliver the energy saving is not good enough. You need to look at the design, the way we apply it. Because you can have the most energy efficient product 
but you can use it really badly and just waste energy. For example, here we have a number of lights, some street lights, some flood lighting in the depot. Also notice something about these photographs, it is during the day. I started with the most efficient light source which is the sun. Do we really need to have the LED lights or the HID lights on during the day? No. These are possibly really efficient light sources. But used badly it's just a waste of energy. So we're trying to produce energy that creates a visual sensation in the human eye. So when we're doing that we also we need an eye in the room for there to be light. If there's nobody there and you've got the light on you're wasting energy. Switch the light off. If you're not in the room the most energy efficient light in the world is just wasting energy. So I ask you to go home and switch those lights off, but it's too late, you should have switched them off before you came. So when you see Lumens for what, understand what it's referring to, ask the manufacturer what it's referring to, what they've measured. And remember controls, that switch is so important and how you use it, switch it off. Efficient technology is an essential tool, especially in climate change, but the application of that technology and its use is where the true energy savings and waste reduction can be achieved. So we can really use wisely and used well is energy efficiently, energy efficient. Used unwisely and used badly, it's a waste. Thank you.